the Royal Veterinary College is part of the University of London and its main focus is on educating both undergraduate students and postgraduate students to become a veterinarian at the end of the day. Uh, the university is not unique, uh, but it's the oldest and the, the biggest veterinary college of the United States Kingdom. I form part of the Centre for Animal Welfare and we focus on uh, the effects of the environment on the behaviour and welfare of farm animals, by and large pigs and poultry. To achieve the, the consistency in our climate, uh, we used equipment that was uh, bought from Fancom. Uh, in our discussions when we conceived the building, we were uh, discussing that with a number of uh, competitors and in the end the equipment that we brought from Fancom was most suitable for what we were doing. Uh, it gave us flexibility but also uh, gave us the option to control all our climates uh, to very tight standards, uh, more than you would normally expect from a normal agriculture or livestock building. What our research does is look at the effects of the environment and then you have to think in terms of uh, light levels, temperature, uh, sound levels, uh, on the behaviour uh, of animals. And behaviour translates to welfare at some point. Our research is rather fundamental and we look to see which factors affect the behaviour and cognition of animals in a direct way. Equipment that we use for that research uh, should allow us to uh, feed individual pens uh, to a high degree. We need to make sure that animals are fed exactly what we, the amount and the feed type that we want them to be fed. And the equipment that Fancom has delivered to us and installed here allows us to feed very accurately at very specific times. Uh, vision systems are, and computing systems are increasingly capable of uh, coordinating and following animals and computer capacity is increasing all the time to actually uh, process images and to look at animal behaviour and movement and that's what uh, in, the near, in the future might give us a different way, a direct way of controlling the environment based on directly on the animal's responses rather than using the derived uh, factor which is temperature. Well at the end of the day what we hope that the veterinarians take away from uh, the college uh, with us now being here and animal welfare being developed as a subject in, in, in the college at the moment is that they take a, a different view of animal welfare away and try and portray that and bring that uh, when they visit farms or when they set up their own practices being for uh, small animals, i.e. cats and dogs, or when they go into large animal practice uh, where they will visit farms and encounter production animals as well.